Since long before the advent of human genomics, researchers have relied on twin studies to answer the question, to what extent are human traits influenced by genetic and environmental factors? The classical twin design compares traits or disease resemblances in monozygotic twins to those in dizygotic twins. Dizygotic twins come from two fertilized eggs. The dizygotic twins share 50% of their genes on average, just like other siblings. And monozygotic twins come from one fertilized egg, after which the embryo splits. Thus, monozygotic twins are genetically identical. The similarities between monozygotic and dizygotic twins can be explained by their genetic relatedness and the environment that they share. This is the basis for the estimation of heritability. If two twins have the same phenotype, they are concordant. If only one twin has the phenotype, they are discordant. The degree of discordance in monozygotic twins tells us that the genotype can be predictive only up to a certain limit. This is a very important message to keep in mind as DNA testing becomes more feasible for many of us. Genetic and environmental effects are not static. If we study twins at different points in their life, such research can tell us how important the genotype is across the lifespan. More than 60 twin registers with over a million twins collect data worldwide. They continue to provide information on new phenotypes such as internet addiction or susceptibility to COVID-19. Did you know that the heritability of internet use is 41%? New twin registers are being established around the globe to study underrepresented populations in African, Arab and other non-European countries. Thanks to twins and twin families, we begin to understand the role of genetics and the environment in health and behaviour in the population.